So here we're looking at um, a point cloud rendering of this beautiful cave in Kauai, which is the oldest of the Hawaiian Islands, and it's called the Blue Room. And not many people know about it. You have to stop at this place on the road and go up this path, and then it looks like you're approaching a cliff, and then suddenly this you're wandering through this jungle, and then suddenly you've got this this deep cave which sort of descends into into the earth with this beautiful blue water at the bottom. Hence, it's named the Blue Room. You can actually swim in the water, though they do warn you about there's some of this bacterial disease that um, you sometimes get. It doesn't put most people off, though. So here, what we're doing is we're going out of the cave into the jungle. And you can see that the Leica C10 scanner captures all everything that it sees at 360 degrees all around it. And you can see it's here we've got like just all sorts of jungle and trees and stuff and, you know, nature... And you can see in front of you now, it's got a, a beautiful tree with all those roots. <clears throat> so now what we're doing is we're turning around and we're going back into, into the Blue Room again. Now one of the advantages of capturing um, the scene in this way is that you end up with a 3D model. And once you have a 3D model, you can... You can explore it any way you want. It becomes truly interactive, meaning that although you're not able to do it on this YouTube video, if you were running this application at home or in front of your computer, if it was on a large screen, you would be able to manipulate where you went with the mouse or with the hand or with whatever technology is available, and you can go anywhere you want, period. There are no restrictions whatsoever. So now what I've done here is I've turned all these dots into a surface, but there's no colour on the surface yet. But that's the second step of creating a realistic environment. We can't just have dots, you've actually got to have a surface. So you can see all the organic detail of the rock is captured here. Now we're looking out of the cavern towards the exit. So now we're in, we're actually swimming in the lake at the bottom of the Blue Room. Now, one of the things that's interesting is that you couldn't do this if you had a conventional video camera, where you could if you were able somehow to hold it very steady while you were swimming in the water. This is one of the things about the 3D model, is that once you've got it, once you've mapped the, the real photographic colour onto it, as I have done right here, it's like you are there and you can go anywhere you want. You can explore, you can, you can rise into the sky... And I've developed this technology which allows you to take colour pictures and map them straight onto the geometry. So that what you're looking at is real. You know, there's no fake colour. This is the real thing. And it's like you can almost take a photograph and make it three-dimensional. So although I'm gliding through this cavern very, very slowly, if you were... If you had control of this application, you could stop and you could look up and then you could turn the camera down and you could go into the water and then you could walk out into the cavern and then you could swim into the back room. You could do anything you wanted. And so it allows for um, all sorts of possibilities. But, I mean, just look at this gorgeous space. And, the, you know, the, the amazing thing about it is the water really does look this colour. It has this, this blue effect. I don't know what caused it. I think it's something to do with the light. But anyway, here we are looking out of the cave. And you can see you've got dynamic control of the light here. There's so many things you can control. With a, with a film or with a video, once you've got the film, there's not a huge amount that you can do with it. You can't change the parameters or change the colour and say, oh, I want to stop here and I want to turn right and I want to see what it looks like behind that rock. With this technology, you can do whatever you want. So here I'm outside the cave. And you can see the laser scanner captures all the trees as well. Although I admit the trees don't look that great. I'm going to have to do some work to make them look better. And what we're doing here is we're going up the cliff outside the Blue Room. Which of course in real life would be tantamount to suicide. I mean if you're a rock climber, sure you could do that. But um, once you've got the data you can explore it. And look how the laser scanner gets all the little trees and everything which cling to the rock. It, um, it sees everything at about, I think, a three or four millimeter accuracy. And you can see the jungle below you as you go up. I mean, this cliff is probably, uh, I would probably guess, three to four hundred feet high. 
and there's no way anyone would want to climb up to take an image from there. I mean, you could maybe send a plane or something up there, a little, little helicopter. You can see how far up we've gone. Well, I'm glad I'm not up this high, I can tell you. Okay, so this is the final part of the video. just want to show what it's like walking into this cave from outside. So we've got all the trees and the jungle around us. And you've got these incredible creepers that, that I, I believe, they are like roots of trees that grow all the way down, growing like hundreds of feet all the way from the top. I mean, that's, that's a pretty incredible thing. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt the camera down a bit, and we're just going to have a nice gliding sequence into the cave. And it's, it's, quite a, it's quite a scrabble. It's quite a scrabble to get down this slope. It's like, you know, 30 degrees, and it's quite easy to slip. And unfortunately, with this 3D object, you can just sort of fly down smoothly into it. And there's the Blue Room in, in all its glory and in all its space. And I've seen so many pictures of this place, but none of these pictures, none of these pictures do justice to the, to the, the, the this space, this, this huge area, which is just so, it's so vast and it's so beautiful. And it's so hard to understand it unless you've actually been there. Or unless you've watched this video, which gives you a clear sense of the, of the spaciousness of the place.